Hello and welcome. In today's video, what we're going to be talking about is uh, circles, okay? And this is the next part in our topic on nonlinear relationships and how we've been graphing. So, so far we've looked at things like the parabola, we've looked at straight lines and all of this sort of stuff. So we should have all of this in our toolbox before we jump into, uh, in, before we jump into graphing circles and everything that we know about them, okay? Now, I have this heading up here, and this is sort of the question that I'm going to be answering in this uh, this video one of two, okay? Where does the equation for a circle come from? So let's just actually talk about what the equation of a circle represents, all right? And I have it here in this sentence. This sentence is really, really important. The equation of a circle with center 0, 0 and radius r is given by x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So let me just break this down for you just a little bit, and it might help to actually understand this by looking at the diagram. Okay, the equation of a circle with center 0, 0, so that means that its center is at the origin here, with a radius of r. Now remember, okay, when we've talked about circles before, the radius is always the distance from the center to the outside of the circle. Okay, and remember, with a circle as well, what we need to understand is that all points in the circle are the exact same distance away from the center. Okay, that's why we call it a radius. Okay, that's a very special property of a circle. Okay, so this is what we talk about when I give you this equation. All right, the equation is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Now, if we think about a parabola, it only has an x squared in it, not a y squared. Or with an exponential, it's something like y equals two to the power of x. Okay, all of these sorts of things change. So this is a special formula that you'll need to realize, okay? Right, another important thing that I need you to note, and we'll talk more about this uh, in the second video, is the fact that even though this is r squared up here, you'll notice here on my diagram that my radius, my distance from my center to the outside of the circle, is just r, okay? That's going to become important later on. But what I want to show you, okay, is where this formula actually comes from. All right, and it's something that we actually, we, we can uh, discover this formula from something that we've learnt in year eight, okay? So I'll take you through it right now. So, why is the equation of our circle given by this formula? Now this works for any circle, okay? What you will probably most likely see is the equation of a circle being given as an x squared plus y squared equal to some number, okay? But for the moment, I'm gonna show you where this particular formula comes from. Okay, so just down below, right, you'll notice that we have a circle here of radius r. Before we dive into that, I want to refresh our minds on an important formula that we learned back in year eight. Okay, now, this formula is used a lot, okay, and it's pretty famous. Okay, if I have a right angle triangle with a, b, and c, we could find the length of the hypotenuse by using this thing called Pythagoras' theorem. Okay, and that is c squared equals a squared plus b squared, okay? So that is the shorter sides of the triangle, we square them, then we add them to each other, and we'll end up with the hypotenuse squared. We're going to use this formula, okay, in just a moment to show you where this particular uh, equation for a circle comes from, okay? So, back down to our circle now, okay? We're gonna be using that in just a moment. The first thing that I want you to realize is that even though this is a circle, okay, we actually have a right angle triangle hidden inside of it, okay, and I can do that. So I'm going to label this point, and I'm just going to call it x, y, okay, right, the reason why I call it x, y is because I want this to work for any point around the circle, not just one, right, we could put numbers in here, but we want it to work for any point, so we use letters, okay, now you'll notice my hidden triangle actually comes in when I draw a vertical line down to the x-axis, okay? Now we can actually label the vertical distance here and the horizontal distance here in just a moment. I sort of want to explain to you just sort of how this will work in just a moment, just so you understand. If this was a point uh, one and two, if this was a point one, two, right? You'll notice that this is our x value and this is our y value. So this out here would be the point one, okay? That would be our horizontal distance because it's our x and this point up here would be the point two. That's what we would do if we were using numbers, right? That whole length there would be two, but we're not using numbers today. So rather than using numbers, we're going to represent the side lengths of this triangle, okay, just using the algebra. So this has a side length of x, okay, because we come out here to x, all right, and it has a side length, a vertical side length of y, 
okay? All right, so you'll see side length of x, side length of y, because this is a point x, y. Now, I'm gonna pull this triangle out of our out of our circle just so you can sort of see what's going on here, okay? You'll notice right now that I have a right angle triangle because I've made one inside of the circle, okay? That has a hypotenuse of R, the hypotenuse being opposite the right angle, okay? And it has a side length of X and Y. Well, just earlier, you told, we, we went through this, right, uh, and discovered that if we square A, we square B, we can and add them together, we'll end up with the hypotenuse squared. Let's apply the same Pythagoras' theorem to end up with uh, the equation for our circle. So if I have R squared, that's our hypotenuse, our radius of our circle here, it's equal to this side length squared, so X squared, plus this side length squared, Y squared. Okay, that's using Pythagoras' theorem. Now you'll notice if I flip the sides of the equal sign around, I end up with x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared, okay, which is the equation of our circle. For any circle where it's centered at the origin, okay, there is another way for me to show you if it's moved off of the origin, but we won't be covering that in this series of videos. Okay, so what I need you to understand, okay, is that for a circle, to have a graph, okay, you are looking for an x squared and a y squared. That will tell you that your graph will be a circle. Now, in the next video, I'll take you through how we actually sketch them. Okay, thank you very much.